Stardew Valley, my favorite farming game. Wait, what in the off brand is this? Yeah, I made this game in Scratch in just one sprite, meaning all the code is jumbled together like a bowl of spaghetti. Now I was an idiot and didn't record any footage for day one. But here's a reenactment. I struggled to put dirt in a grid. I did something dumb, so plants only grew in the first square. I also had a glitch which led to self-replicating dirt. Further, there was music, stolen from the original of course, which added too much file size that Scratch couldn't save the project. All that, and the game sucks. You just plant seeds, wait, and they grow into crops. It's day two and I need a plan. A big problem though is the limitations. I only have one sprite. This is because a YouTuber who has more subscribers than me made Scratch Station. Anyone can add a game to it, but it has to fit entirely in one sprite. You can't separate the player, the dirt, the crops or anything like that. It all has to be in one box. Here's the plan. It's a very well labeled drawing, isn't it? First thing I want to add is a coop. I'm thinking there's two things you can do with crops. Sell them for money straight away, or give them to the chickens and they'll eat them and you'll get high quality eggs over time. Aww, it's so cute. It looks awful. When we buy a chicken, we get a chicken, okay. As I was saying, when we buy a chicken, we get a chicken. Now we just need to figure out how to make it do something. Okay, I've added an inventory. Then we can plant some plants. And then let's see if these plants go to our inventory. So we get a potato. Now uh, you don't get multiple of an item. Doesn't matter, right? You can, you only need one of an item at a time. <laughs> this is incredibly ugly. Okay, I wonder if the inventory will work. Ah, uh, no, it does not work. Also, it's split into two rows because of the smart things I had to do, which didn't work. <laughs> and that could work. Or it could not, who knows. The words line up with the numbers that just pretend it went like whooped and whooped and whooped. So we got two potatoes, got one carrot, we've got three corn. Now when you plant seeds, it's free. It probably should cost money, so I might do that. Wow, I've made a list and another list. And then I can use extremely long and complicated expressions to find items in that list. I wonder if it works. Okay, I've selected potato. Oh, it deletes stuff. Okay. We got $50 to start with. And, oh, potatoes are expensive. But you get more in return. Oh no, it goes to your inventory, which you can't even sell anything back yet. Clicking plant and collect will let you plant seeds. Clicking sell will make you sell the crops when you click the button instead. So I spent the rest of the day working on this feature. Okay, day four. I didn't do anything on day three because I was studying for a test. I'm a nerd. The, the exam's today. Yay. Okay, the math test actually wasn't that bad. What I'm worried for is the free tests I have on one day. I went to my dad's house on the weekend and I didn't bring my laptop charger. So it's day seven and we don't have a game yet. It's a public holiday, so I don't have to go to school, but I need to get the game done today, okay? I can't leave this any longer, no more excuses. The prices were broken, so I tried to fix them and I made a mode change of thingy. Let's test it. Sell mode, we hide the crop we're planting. The prices were still incorrect. And even if you had the $10 you needed to plant corn, you couldn't plant it. Maybe we can just add sound effects. Now I need to make the chickens do something. <laughs> Here's a helpful, well-drawn diagram. I made it so you can click a chicken to enter chicken mode, where you can click any crop to feed it. It gives it happiness, but there are a couple bugs. But let's just ignore those. I got distracted. I might add a new crop, like a crop that sells for nothing, but chickens really like. Hmm, how do I steal this? Does that look like wheat? Why does it say price one? It's not right. I just had to change the entire way the game stores data. No big deal. Oh, there's beetroot now. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Egg. Eggs are very valuable. Problem is, can't fit them on the screen. The items will show up here. I think I kind of forgot that I added the chicken feeding thing. Oh, it doesn't show how much you've got in plant mode. But where you can buy a chicken, gives five happiness. Happiness is five. Good. I worked on the egg laying mechanics. If your chicken has enough happiness, it will lay eggs. The more happy it is, the more eggs it will lay, and its happiness decreases over time. So it should be making eggs. I'll watch it until it makes something. Yeah, I don't think it's making anything. Oh, I changed the counter at the wrong point. We're getting eggs now. Okay, I've made a really bad looking stove. 
You could use it to turn usually garbage crops into something that sells for heaps. I'll work on that later because I'm gonna go on a walk. Go outside and touch some grass, you know? Okay, that was a nice walk, but it's 5 p.m. and the game needs to be published tonight. I might have to scrap a couple ideas and get everything done as soon as possible. Okay, the cooking system might have to wait. I need to finish stuff, okay? What if I try to add the music back in? This time I compressed it so the project would actually save. And also found this sound effect. <laughs> so then when we feed the chicken, we'll make a <laughs> noise. Let's see what happens if we feed it some wheat. <laughs> oh, I was gonna add these little heart particles, but it was too hard, so I just scrapped it. Something I think that might help is saving and loading so i tried to do it hmm the save load system might be a bit hard to do hello fellow scratchers yeah i just copied griff patch's tutorial okay when we click s we get a save code problem is this is our plant list i need to make the list saving work and also you can't load anything yet The save code's pretty insecure, but at least it should work, I think. It didn't. I think the problem is, I didn't set the save code to the answer. Here, yeah, let's try that again. Load, paste, that uh, doesn't work. Um, there could be an error with the thing I copied off Griff Patch. It wasn't. I spent so long trying to get the save and load system to work. I think the biggest problem was scratch variables behave differently on clones or whatever. I also added some extra tweaks polishing and bug fixes. So I play tested the game. Let's see if it loads properly. Okay, let's try loading the game. So paste the code in. Oh, it actually did something. We've got the happiness levels. We've got the eggs. We've got our inventory. We've got our money. I added a tutorial, some finishing touches and try to make it so you could save your farm layout. Let's test. Okay, so save. Did it work? <gasps> Almost. Oh, look at that! It's slightly wrong, um... Okay, it's dead wrong. Hmm, the save is a little off. Oh, it also harvests the dirt. Yeah, okay. I've made the farm layout save. Oh, I really want to add decorations and stuff, but it's like 640. I guess I'm not uploading the video tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna share this right now. We have a finished game. There's growing plants, harvesting crops, growing different plants, feeding crops to chickens, eggs, lots of money, music, sound effects, saving, loading, all in Scratch with just one sprite. Now remember, this was a submission to Scratch Station. So let's message them and see if it gets added. Nope. But you can play the game yourself with the link in the description. Now making a game in one sprite was very challenging. But in this video, I actually managed to make a game with zero. 